A phone scam is costing a local business. Now, the owner of the Swannanoa Flower Shop tells News 13 that she believes the phone number to her business was stolen after she answered a fraudulent call. News 13's Megan Shearing joins us with tonight's reality check. Megan, the Better Business Bureau says it sounds like a case of caller ID spoofing. It works like this, Darcel. Identity thieves get control of your phone number and then use it to take advantage of other people. Just want to know a flower shop. We average between, you know, 10 to 20 orders a day. It's the place to go for special occasions. I love the holidays, especially in Valentine's Day. But a potential thief put Terry Dorland's business on hold. Well, yesterday morning I got a phone call from a place called ATI Affidavits. Um, basically wanted me to send $1,750 for payday loan that I had they said I had took out online, which was bogus. She says she became concerned, so she immediately contacted Charter Communications. The next thing I knew was uh, people, I had a, a friend call my cell phone and say, I can't get through your, your phone. It's busy. So I called Charter Communications, told them my phone was out, and they said that my number had been ported to another carrier and they didn't know how it had been done. The phone company says Dorlin was the victim of telephone slamming or cramming, but the Better Business Bureau says it sounds like a case of caller ID spoofing. Well, it upsets us because it's very difficult to do anything, for us to do anything, if they, because often they don't have an address for the company and they have to have that so we can contact them. Officials there say if you don't recognize a number on your caller ID, don't answer your phone. Also, don't call back an unidentified number. We get calls about, about that all the time, about you borrowed this money and you haven't paid it back and the sheriff's going to come get you and all of this information that's not legitimate. Because it's that connection with a possible identity thief that could cost you. A flower arrangement, $50 flower arrangement that could be stand between me and the grocery store basically. But if I had, you know, somebody calling about a wedding, that's potentially thousands of dollars that I'm losing. Now, Dorlin is working to get her number back. In the meantime, she is posting contact information on the shop's Facebook page. The Buncombe County Sheriff's Office says it is investigating. Deputies say the case, though, will likely be turned over to the FBI.